at five, due to a changing population, Columbus City Schools says it needs to shuffle some students around to create balance. NBC4's Jason Aubrey has a closer look tonight at what's being proposed by a citizen task force and when the public can weigh in on the plan. The Citizen Task Force is recommending adjusting the attendance boundaries of several schools and closing four others, some as soon as next school year. Perry Sabaty is the co-chair of the Facilities Task Force that started meeting back in April. We heard about some schools that are at less than, you know, optimal capacity. They have maybe, maybe they're only 50, 60 percent filled. Other schools are bursting at the seams. One example of this is Dominion Middle School. The task force wants to move the entire student body from Dominion to North High School. The task force also wants to stop using Buckeye Middle School, Mifflin Middle School, and Siebert Elementary School. They plan to explain their reasons for each change at four community meetings next month. I think at that point people will also understand better what the viewpoint of Columbus City Schools is around what the future might be. However, people living near Siebert Elementary aren't happy about the decision and say it needs to take into account more than just numbers. When I watch the interaction between the administrators and the teachers and the parents and the kids in this school, it's exactly what a school should be. And it's a good size for a school, so it's not too large that an individual child gets lost. I would think it would be a damn shame if they closed this school and did anything else with the property and sent these kids somewhere else. Sabaty says the task force looked at 21 different criteria over three phases. Diversity and burden were two elements they looked at in the final phase right before the task force narrowed down their recommendations. Local for you in Columbus, Jason Aubrey, NBC4. Now, Storm Team 4.